SQL Server Lock is help to protect data. Data modified by one transaction is protected from data modified in a different transaction. So it is important to understand the SQL Server Lock. Hello everyone, welcome back to SQL Guide. In this video, we are going to discuss how to get active lock resources detail and also be going to learn basic concept on SQL Server Lock, Lock Mode, Lock Escalation, Lock Compatibility and Key Range Lock in a SQL Server. What is SQL Server Locks? Minimizing SQL Server Lock can help improve performance. Locking is the way that SQL Server manage a transaction concurrency. Locking help integrity of the data in the database. Make every SQL Server transaction to pass the ACID test. Now next lock modes and lock type. Shared lock used for read transaction such as select a statement. Update lock used on update transaction such as update statement. Exclusive lock used for data modification transaction such as insert, update, delete. Intent lock used to establish lock hierarchy. Schema lock used when schema of the table is updated. Bulk update lock used when bulk copy data into a table and when table lock hint is used in a query. Key range protect the range of a row read by query. Intent lock and intent lock type. Intent lock improve performance because SQL Server database engine examine intent lock only at the table level. This remove the requirement to examine every row or page lock on the table. If transaction can lock the entire table. Type of intent lock, intent share lock, intent exclusive lock, intent update lock, shared with intent update, shared with intent exclusive lock and update with intent exclusive lock. Database, table, page and row. These are locking hierarchy. You can see in my screen key, page, extent, table, file, application, metadata, allocation unit and a database. These are resources that the SQL Server database engine can lock. What is lock compatibility? Lock compatibility when one application hold a lock on a object and another application request a lock on the same object. When the two lock mode are compatible, the request for second lock on the object can be granted. If it is not, the transaction will have to wait for the lock to be released. What is key range locking? Key range locks are obtained on index key. If the primary key is a cluster, then the data is in index, you will always get a key lock. If you are running a select query with a where clause, range lock will lock some of the row that close to your selected row. What is lock escalation? DB lock can exist on a row, page or whole table or index. When a transaction is in a progress, 
द लॉक हेल्ड बाई द ट्रांजेक्शन टेक अप रिसोर्सेस लॉक एस्कलेशन इज वेर द सिस्टम वेन एनी ट्रांजेक्शन टेक ए मल्टीपुल लॉक देन कन्वर्ट इन टू ए हाइगर लेवल वन फॉर एग्जाम्पल मल्टीपुल रो लॉक चेंज टू पेज लॉक मल्टीपुल पेज लॉक टू होल टेबल द क्वेरी रिटर्न इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट करेंटली एक्टिव लॉक मैनेजर रिसोर्सेस इन ए एसक्वेल सर्वर दिस क्वेरी हेल्प यू टू नो टाइप ऑफ रिसोर्सेस बींग लॉक्ड लॉक मोड एंड लॉक स्टेटस द डायनेमिक मैनेजमेंट व्यू सिस डी एम ट्रान लॉक हेल्प यू टू गेट कॉलम रिसोर्सेस टाइप रिक्वेस्ट मोड एंड रिक्वेस्ट स्टेटस आई हैव ज्वाइन विथ सिस प्रोसेस टू गेट द प्रोसेस आई डी एंड स्टेटस एंड ब्लॉक्ड कॉलम एंड आई एल्सो ज्वाइन विथ सिस डी एम एग्जीक्यूट सिक्वल टैक्स to get the tax of the query let's run this query you can see here required co column resources type the type of resource being locked database object database object request mode you can see here request mode is a set lock and intent exclusive request type is a lock request status grant convert or wait and here you can get the tax of the query so you can see here intent exclusive request mode and request status is wait it means this sp id is in a wait status because it blocked by process 58 so this script will help you to get the active lock resources in a sql server thanks for watching sql guide please share like and subscribe my channel Thank mm -hmm. you.